Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. When I feel one way about an issue, and then I ask a friend who knows more about that issue than I do, and they tell me I should be thinking a different way, I have to take notice. That's something that happened this morning on Arizona's Morning News. I've been as frustrated as anyone over our border situation. I have a lot of sympathy for immigrants because my father was one, but... We can't just let anybody who pays human smugglers enough to get them here access to our country. We need to know a little bit more about them. So while I realize it's not perfect, I was thinking I might vote for this new ballot referendum that the state house just approved. The Secure the Border Act would make it a state crime to cross into Arizona from Mexico illegally. Uh, It would give the state and local law enforcement officers authority to arrest people who they see crossing the border illegally, and it would authorize local judges to deport those people. Then I heard from my friend Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniels this morning, a Republican border sheriff who's been begging the federal government to do their job and secure the border, told me and Jamie this morning when I asked him if he plans to vote for this ballot measure. We understand the frustration, the intent, and the spirit behind the bill. We truly do, and we really believe the the state's going to pass it. But this is an unfunded mandate for sheriffs and law enforcement. There is no funding attached to this. Yeah, and during my many conversations with Sheriff Daniels, he told us many times about the large number of immigrants who fill up his old jail, although it's newer than the jail of the Old West Times of Tombstone. His modest facilities have had to house many people who cross the border illegally and then do something else illegal that lands them in jail. So he's not sure about having to add even more immigrants to his jail. Those who have simply committed the crime of crossing the border illegally. And because he feels that the Secure the Border Act would put him in a position of having to decide who gets a cell and who doesn't get a cell in his jail. We can't set aside our child molesters, our murderers, our bad, bad, evil people that need to be in jail and give that up for 30 days worth of Somebody that came across the border illegally for trespass, and they're taking that bed space. And because he wants assurances from the governor that funding will be available to his small sheriff's office in order to enforce this big law, I'm kind of rethinking things. Because considering the pressure that Governor Katie Hobbs is going to receive from her Democratic Party to not have anything to do with the Secure the Border Act, I'm guessing that the monies that Sheriff Daniels is hoping to get, he's not going to get. And now I'm thinking I might be a no vote. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.